Hey guys, Poverty Point Customs here. What we're going to do today is uh, change our oil and filter on our Bayline or Sear 24.5. It's got the uh, Merc Cruiser 5.0. Yesterday we just did a video on changing the uh, fluid on our uh, Bravo 3 outdrive. So I have the earmuffs hooked up to the outdrive there, so we're going to run the motor till it's up to operating temperature. So while we're waiting for the engine to warm up, what you're going to need is approximately 5 liters of a 4 stroke of 2540 oil. You're going to need a new oil filter. It's my Quicksilver oil filter. You're going to need a funnel, some rags, and you're going to need an oil extractor to get the oil out of the engine. And while I was at the boat store today, I picked up a new anode kit. We'll put that on the outdrive in the springtime. All right, so taking a look at the temperature gauge, we're up to operating temperatures. We have a great oil pressure, so we're going to turn her off, turn the hose off, and then we'll uh, get the oil out of the engine. All right, so here's the motor. There's your oil filter. There's your engine fill location and there's your dipsticks so what we're going to do is take off the fill cap and we're going to pull out the dipstick so you're going to take the hose that's connected to the oil extractor and you're going to put it down the dipstick tube and this is where you're going to suck the oil out so it's going to go down to the bottom of the block and I can feel it touching at the bottom there. So we're just going to bring it up maybe half an inch or so. And then we're going to prime the oil extractor. And there you go. You can see the oil slowly making its way up. Now it is a thick oil. So it does take a little bit to uh, drain this. All right, while we're waiting for the oil to uh, drain, we're gonna remove the old oil filter. You're gonna need an oil filter uh, wrench if it's on uh, snug. And you're gonna wanna keep a uh, rag with you too in case uh, some drips. And put a little piece of paper towel there to suck up the oil. You're always going to want to compare your new oil filter to make sure it's the same. So before we reinstall this, you're going to want to put uh, some clean oil around the rubber gasket. And you also want to make sure your surface here is nice and clean. So I've wiped that all down and we're going to screw on the new oil filter. You want it on snug and then you're going to want to turn it a little bit more. It will say on your uh, filter how tight to uh, turn it. And the new filter is installed. I usually like to uh, write the date on it too. That way I know when the oil has been done. This oil and filter will be done every fall though. Alright, so probably 20 minutes later we've sucked out almost exactly five liters the soil extractor holds six so one two three four and five is right here so we're gonna pull out this dip stick uh, tube extractor hose if you want to call it that and then we're gonna start filling up uh, the engine with oil all right now we're gonna add four liters a full uh, gallon of the uh, quicksilver 25w40 
All right, so we're gonna put the fill cap back on. And I added about another half a liter. And we're gonna run the motor for a second. That way we'll get the oil circulated throughout the uh, motor and the oil filter. And then what you wanna do next is come back and check the dipstick and top up your engine oil as required. Alright, so I've topped up the oil. It pretty near took almost exactly five liters of oil, and I've put the uh, date on the oil filter and what type of oil was used. So the next step is we need to winterize the motor. So the outdrive's been changed as far as the gear oil, the engine oil and filter, and the engine's been done. So we need to winterize the motor, and that will be the next video where we get rid of all the water and replace it with uh, antifreeze. Uh, for the winter months as it gets uh, almost minus 30 here in our area so we need to make sure there's no water in the engine and once that's done we're going to uh, detail the engine bay uh, remove the uh, two boat batteries and uh, we're going to uh, make sure this is spotless for the springtime so the engine oil filter project is completed again you're going to need an oil extractor, 5 liters of a 25W40, an oil filter. You're going to need your earmuffs for your water, oil filter wrench, and a funnel. And again, you're going to need a garden hose to hook up to your outdrive. Again, this is something that's fairly quick to do. The most time-consuming part is just waiting for the oil to uh, get sucked out by the oil extractor. Anyways, hope you find this video helpful. Again, the next uh, step is to... Get all the water out of the engine and get her all set for the winter and uh, give her a nice scrub. We want it to be nice and clean for the springtime. We're just waiting on a new cover and frame for the uh, boat. So that should be here in the next month or so, but we are going to get her all spiffied up. That way in the springtime there's a lot less to do. And if you have any questions or comments, make sure you post them below. Thanks for watching. And I'll give my dad a big shout out. He was the one who actually purchased this oil extractor probably over a dozen years ago and uh, got us into boating. Miss you, Dad.